Hello, I'm Tom Bailey, and today I'm very honored to be joined by Steve Gordon, who is a two times entrepreneur, best selling author, and the founder of the Unstoppable Agency and Unstoppable CEO podcast. So, Steve, hello, and a very warm welcome to today's episode. Hey, thanks, Tom. It's exciting to be here. Yeah, thank you so much. And whereabouts are you in the world right now? I am in uh, a little town called Tallahassee in Florida, mm -hmm. uh, the state capital, and uh, enjoying some warm summer weather. Amazing. Thank you so much. And just let me um, for a second share a little bit more about Steve before we get started. So Steve's firm, The Unstoppable Agency, helps consultants and digital agencies land great clients by hosting their own podcast and by using his proprietary podcast prospecting method. The title for today's episode is therefore how to use podcasts to land clients and massive referrals. And Steve's going to show us how to do that in just under seven minutes. So question number one today, Steve, is who are your ideal clients? So we really exist to be a hero to that, um, that service business owner, that professional mm -hmm. who went to school. They, they you know, really are expert at what they do. They yeah. might have uh, had to take a test and get a license to, to practice their profession. And then they came out and they realized, oh my goodness, hmm. now I've got to go sell something. And yeah. they, they have trouble... Um, you know, really balancing the the marketing and the sales side of things and the client delivery because they're the salesperson, they're the CEO, and at the end of the day, they're the product that's being sold to. Got it. So uh, they go through these big swings and mm -hmm. you know in their business because of it. And so that that's who we work with. Fantastic. And and what would you say is the number one challenge that they typically face in their businesses? Uh, well, the biggest challenge usually is is that balance between do I have uh, enough in the pipeline or mm -hmm. am I overwhelmed with the work that I have? Um, and honestly, most people don't balance that very effectively. And so, um, you know, so that, that really is, I think the, the fundamental challenge and yeah. the problem that it creates for them mm -hmm. is that they are, they're never really able to get to a point of, of freedom in the business. You know, they're only making money when they're there working. Um, yeah. there's only a pipeline when they're, when they're out networking and yeah. uh and so it becomes a real struggle got it okay so that, that sounds like the biggest impact for them is is that is that pipelining issue like you said um and ultimately and therefore not enough revenue in the business as well so so given that what, what would you say is one valuable piece of advice that you'd give to somebody who's in this position to really help them move past that well the the thing that we've seen really move the needle for people mm -hmm. is to really begin thinking in, in systems when it comes to business development, how do you create a system that can operate with very little input from you, very little time yeah. from you mm -hmm. and, um, and produce results. So even when you're really busy fulfilling all of those clients that you brought on, doing all those engagements that maybe with an hour of, of your time a week, you know, and probably not much more than that, that you've got a marketing system that yeah. is nurturing all the people that, you know, that are, are uh, prospects that's mm -hmm. going out and, you know, attracting new leads and attracting new strategic partners and all of that at the same time. Great. And, and is a lot of that automated then in the background? Well, I mean, some of it, it can be automated. Um, mm -hmm. But for, for most businesses, I mean, the, the idea of marketing automation is, is a really, you know, it's a great idea. Yeah. Very few execute it very well. Yeah. Um, and, and for most businesses, you need human automation. You yeah, know, and it. so you need a team that can kind of support you and do all of the things that, that you probably shouldn't be doing as it relates to marketing, all the technical stuff. Yeah, makes complete sense. Thank you. And so for anybody listening to this podcast who resonates with this message, what is one piece of um, or one valuable resource you might want to offer them so they can help start them off on this journey in the right direction? Sure. So um, I wrote a book a couple of years ago um, mm -hmm. called Podcast Prospecting, and it really describes how we use a podcast as a tool to really get all of your marketing done in about yep. an hour a week. It allows you to right. connect with, um, you know, with really great um, strategic partners who can refer you. It allows you to go and interview potential clients um, and kind of jump past mm -hmm. the gatekeeper. Um, and so uh, in that book, I kind of lay out the whole process. So I'd love to love to offer that to, to your audience Fantastic. and get a copy of it for free. Yeah, thank you so much. And I've got a URL here, which we'll drop into the show notes, which is unstoppableceo.net forward slash flow and grow. 
And I'll put that into the show notes. If they click that, they'll be able to get access to that book for free. Fantastic. Okay, thank you so much. And the next question slightly off topic, you could say, and that is, what would you say is your personal greatest failure that you've ever made over in life or business? And what did you learn from it? Wow, um, it's a long list. Uh, I think anybody yeah. <laughs> who's been in business for very long could yeah. say the same thing. Um, you know, if we want to get real for a second, uh, my, mm -hmm. my biggest failure is a personal one. Um, I went through a divorce yeah. about 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, you know, I think in that process, I learned an awful lot of uh, humility. And, of course. Uh, and, and I got to know myself a whole lot better through that mm -hmm. process. Anybody that's been through it understands, um, you know, but uh, I also learned that, you know, even though you get to the bottom, there's always hope and there's a future. And, uh, yeah. and that has... I think played a, a real valuable role in, in business as well. Always understanding that, um, you know, all, all you can do is press ahead um, and, and make tomorrow better than today. Yeah, I love it. Great. Thank you so much for that um, share. And the last question from me today is, what is one question that I should have asked you that will also add some great value to our audience today? Well, I think, um, you know, the, I get asked about podcasts a lot because we're known mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. Um, and, and, um, you know, the thing that, that, uh, that people ask me all the time is, well, um, how do I make money from the podcast and don't I need a really big audience? And mm -hmm. the, I think that's a big mistake. And so what I tell people is, no, you really want to focus on the small audience. The way that you make money from a podcast is through the relationships that you make with the yeah. guests that you bring on. Got and, it. uh, if you're able to build those relationships, into strategic partnerships over time or client relationships over time, you can make millions from your podcast with a very mm -hmm. small audience. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Great advice. And I guess they can find out more about that in the book. So again, I'll post that link into the show notes below and click on that. And then you can go and download that book for free. So Steve, thank you so much again for your time today and for sharing such great value with our audience. You're welcome.